Take a Tip Tuesday. Do you know how to stage your bathroom? Hi, I'm Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I've noticed lately as of going through homes that people don't understand how it is to stage your bathroom when you list it for sale. So I thought I'd use my bathroom as an example. If you look around my bathroom, it looks just like anybody else's bathroom. We live here and of course there's stuff that needs to be put away. And uh, you know, if I was to sell my house, this is not what my bathroom would look like, but I give you a perfect example of how to straighten it up and make it look really nice and actually make it even look bigger for the people that are coming in and wanting to purchase your home. So let's get started. First, I thought we'd start with this cluttery mess. This is how, you know, this is what happens in a house. I mean, we leave out lotion and an eye makeup remover and I have all my jewelry here. So we're gonna clean off the counters first and then I'm gonna like decorate it a little bit. So what I'm gonna do next, add some fresh white towels and a little bit of decor and that will add a nice look to this and give it a more staged appeal to buyers. So um, let me get that going right now. If you didn't know this already, buyers look for two main things when they're buying a home. They like to have a nice, beautiful kitchen and they like to have a nice, big master bathroom. So this is just a way for you to kind of stage your bathroom yourself if you can't afford your own stager. So I have this big, empty space here. I got, got this at the local Hobby Lobby. It was very inexpensive and it kind of went with the decor. I think that should do it and I think it looks really nice. And then we're gonna put these two white towels out so it makes it look inviting. Voila! Now, doesn't that look much more inviting and friendly and clean? And it just makes the bathroom look bigger and more appealing to buyers. But there's other areas of this bathroom that need attention, so let's go ahead and get to those. I bet everybody's shower kind of looks like this. I mean, you've got shampoo bottles and you've got towels hanging, but this is not the way you want to present it when you are showing a home. So when your house is for sale, you're gonna to wanna to clean up this little area too. I know you live here, but this is one of those times you wanna show your house in, and your bathroom and your kitchen in the best light possible. So um, it, since this is a highlighted room that most people look at, go ahead and take care of your shower too. I think we have a beautiful shower. So let me go show you this. If I had a future buyer in this house, there's no way that I would have all this stuff sitting out. Here, the pro tip is you can get a shower caddy from Bed Bath and Beyond or one of those kinds of places to organize those. But in the meantime, we're gonna we're gonna take all those out. Well, you're probably wondering why I'm on the floor. Most of us have these, ready? Bath mats. And as lovely as they are, they're nice and white and clean looking, it can make the space seem smaller. So as much as you love your bath mat, and I do too, it's time to just put those up. And when you have your house for sale and you get showered in the morning, roll up the bath mat that's in front of the shower and just so that space down here looks really clean and clear. Next, I'm gonna go to the tub. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now and what it looks like afterwards. Okay, so here's my beautiful bathtub that I love more than anything. And it is a great feature of the house. But of course, um, there's washcloths that are left out. My kids love this. Nobody wants to know that I use a back scratcher. Nobody wants to know any of this stuff. So all of this stuff needs to be removed and then we'll um, organize the candles a little bit better. On this side, we're gonna you know, put some nice pretty white towels over here. And then on this side, we're gonna get rid of all of that. That, that hook does not need to have a yucky old bathrobe on it. <laughs> okay, look, we got our bathtub looking really, really much, much better. Everything's all fixed up and it looks clean and large and looks really good for home buyers. And so the tub becomes a feature again instead of your shampoo bottles. We got our big fluffy white towels and nothing on the hooks. Here's a room you might forget about. It's the little water closet or the toilet room. And in this, you know, we have our waste paper basket and we have our toilet bowl cleaner with the little flushable cleaners and we have this beautiful scale and we have a squatty potty i mean we've got so much going on in here and it makes the room really small it makes it functional for us but it makes it look small to buyers so if i was had this house for sale 
all of this stuff would be gone. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like afterwards because I'm telling you, every time you go into somebody's house and they have a scale, always a buyer steps on it. Bye, Squatty Potty. <laughs> and voila, nice clean water closet. And it looks so much bigger without all that stuff. I'm gonna decorate this little room too with a little bit of just something in the corner over here. I just put like a little something. I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm gonna put something over here. Wow, what a difference this room has really become. It, you know, this is the thing. I'm not a professional stager, but I do know what buyers like and they like to see a nice, clean, open space. I understand that you live in the home and you're still living in there when you're trying to sell. So just, you know, find ways that you can adapt during the time that you're trying to sell because you could sell your house a lot faster by doing these little things to help stage your home. If you feel like you can't do your own staging yourself, you could always hire somebody. Again, I'm not a professional stager. I was just, I just know what buyers like. I hope you found these tips useful. If you'd like to know more tips about buying and selling homes, so you can always visit my website at yourrealestatewhisperer.com. If you'd like to know more about buying homes specifically here in the Ascension Parish area, you can download a free copy of my ebook. I will also put that as a link in the description. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer for Ascension Parish. And I tell you all this because you matter. What's your favorite staging tip? Let me know in the comments. Also, please check out my other video about how to clean dog pee out of carpet. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share.